upon digging a little further, approximately five inches, the recovered a body appears to be in the fetus position. It appears to be adult by the length of the bones, but I can't tell you anymore. The medical examiner says until they get it downtown, they won't be able to tell if it's a male or if it's a female or how long it's been there or how old the body is. Milwaukee police want to talk with this man because they say he was a neighbor of Carrie Jopek. He knew her, and they believe he knows something about her death. Carrie Jopek's badly decomposed body was found under a porch at 1944 South 10th Street last week. She was buried in a shallow grave after disappearing March 1982. Eisenberg's client told me he knew Jopek, but not that well. He says he's five or six years older than Jopek. The man also says Milwaukee police interviewed him for at least five hours on separate occasions, and he will not talk with them again. He did talk with me, providing I concealed his identity. They told me that I was going to be uh, questioned about some pictures that I was supposed to look at. And when I got downtown, I was uh, threatened and bullied, and, you know, uh, they told me that that I knew something and I kept telling him that I didn't. Did Milwaukee police ask you if you killed Carrie Jopek? Oh, yes, they did. And your response was? No. Why do you think that they're so interested in talking with you? I'm not a criminal and I hope people don't think that, but uh, I just won't answer their questions because they've lied to me. So far, the medical examiner has no official cause of death in the Jopek case. There were no signs of her being shot or stabbed. And rumors of Jopek's body having fractured bones have not been confirmed. Attorney Alan Eisenberg says he will allow Milwaukee police to interview his client again, only if he's present at the interview, along with a reporter. Bill Taylor, News 4. He's not a suspect, and he has not been arrested in connection with the death of Kerry Jopek. But he was a neighbor of Jopex, and he did know her, so police have a lot of questions to ask him. Eisenberg's client says police did interview him on several occasions, but he says they tried to intimidate him so he won't talk with them again. They told me that if I didn't admit to it now, that they would put it to a homicide, and that they would take me to court for it. What if you admitted to it, what? That it would be dropped to a misdemeanor. The man told me police asked him if he killed Jopek. Did Milwaukee police ask you if you killed Carrie Jopek? Oh, yes, they did. And your response was? No. Police know 13-year-old Carrie Jopek was last seen when she was suspended from Kosciuszko Middle School March 16, 1982. Last Friday, her badly decomposed body was discovered under this porch at 1944 South 10th Street. The medical examiner has not come up with an official cause of death. 
This man, whom police believe has some answers about Joe Peck's death, says he knew the girl, but not that well. Attorney Alan Eisenberg says he will allow Milwaukee police to interview his client again, only if he's present at the interview, along with a reporter. Bill Taylor, News 4.